All right, welcome to my May 19th live item shop review video. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that I did do a full gameplay and review on this unreleased skin named Crossheart. She comes to the item shop tomorrow, May 20th. So if you want to check that out, check my recent videos. And just as a reminder, I am not currently doing birthday shout outs anymore until I get a better method to do them because I was getting too many, but I still see people comment that all the time. So if you see someone request a birthday shout out, just please let them know nicely, of course, that I'm not doing them at the moment. I'll let you guys know when I resume. So look at this, the Dragon Ball section is back. The original Fortnite Dragon Ball collaboration. We've got Goku and Beerus in this bundle. So Beerus, I thought, was an exceptionally well done skin. They nailed his look, and he even has some secret reactivity to some of the emotes. Now Goku, when he first came out, I absolutely loved it. But upon seeing the rest of the Dragon Ball Super skins, they're improving each and every time. Which means the original skin, Goku, is kind of left in the dust. It's not bad, but compared to the new skins, you can tell that he's a little outdated. The face is not quite right, and some of the hair has some issues. So it's good that they keep improving, but it kind of stinks that Goku, the most iconic Dragon Ball character has a few flaws. With that said though, he does have some incredible styles, including Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, and of course, Ultra Instinct. Now, of course, Goku does come with a built-in emote, which will transform him progressively to his final form, which is Ultra Instinct. So you'll have to do it a total of, what, three times to get to the final end result. And then of course, you can revert back as well. But Ultra Instinct is his final form. And now it should go back to default Saiyan right there. You also get a loading screen, which shows some of his forms as well. Goku does come with the power pole, both the pickaxe and the back bling. And Beerus has the seer fish. So a solid bundle overall. Then we got the Vegeta and Bulma bundle. Vegeta is my favorite character in all of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. But in Fortnite, his hair just drives me crazy. I don't know if it's just too big or what, but I love Vegeta. And playing as Vegeta in game is just a little cumbersome. Look how big his hair is. I don't think it should be that large, I guess is the best way to describe it. But he also has four different styles and also comes with the Vegeta's charging up built-in emote. So you can transform between the four styles just like Goku, progressively getting to his final form, which you'll see right about here. Look at that. Insane. And then you do it one more time and you go back to normal Vegeta Saiyan. And Bulma's okay too. She also has her lab coat style because she runs the Capsule Corp. So obviously Goku has the better bundle. He's got the better companion. He's got back blings. He's got loading screens and Vegeta just has himself. Then we've got the Dragon Ball Power Bundle, which includes Shenron, which was a free reward in the Dragon Ball Mini Battle Pass. And you also get the Dragon Radar. And these are the two emotes that Beerus is reactive to, or I should say secretly reactive. You got charging up and boosting key. And then we got the Dragon Ball Gear Bundle, which has the Saiyan Space Pod. This can go with Vegeta. And you got Kami's Shell and Kami's Staff, as well as the Fusion Ha Synced Emote. Pretty cool. Now you know what's missing? The Nimbus Glider. Why will they not bring the Nimbus Glider back? You're lucky if you got it. Just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, the Nimbus is Goku's flying cloud glider, that is. Pretty cool, but for some reason they won't bring it back. I think it's because it was a mythic item in game, and once they were put into the game, they removed it. So, I don't know. I guess be lucky that you got it if you do have it. However, you can buy everything else individually. Goku, Beerus, Vegeta, Boma. Well, actually, let's see the prices real quick. 2000 1500 1800 1200 they all have different prices. That's crazy. Same thing for all these. You can buy them all if you want individually. It looks like Kami stuff comes together though. Oh, look at this. They brought back Gohan and Piccolo. This is what I'm talking about. They get progressively better. Look how good Gohan looks. So he also has the Super Saiyan style. People were a little mad that he didn't get his new style, but he can transform between normal Saiyan and Super Saiyan, which is cool. He's got Piccolo's cape or it's called Gohan's cape, but it's really from Piccolo. Gohan's Beast Axe. This is the beast form we got instead of his actual beast form. And the capsule number 576. This is one of Bulma's flying... I don't know. I was going to call it a jet, but it's not really a jet, is it? 
And the Gohan and Piccolo loading screen, pretty sweet. Here's Piccolo's bundle. He's got his Power Awakening style, which he can transform into. Here you go. It's not as cool as going Super Saiyan, but he does turn a different color. At least he's that lime green, and then he turns almost like an orange. Yeah, the Piccolo's demon symbol, representing when he was an evil character. Piccolo's handheld house, that's the house he lived in. And the Red Ribbon Army aircraft. Gotta love the Red Ribbon Army. You can buy these individually if you prefer. And look at this, they move Goku Black to the tippity top of the shop. In my opinion, this is the best Dragon Ball Super or Z collaboration skin yet. If you can only get one, I highly recommend this one. It's flawless. And we're gonna rapid fire the rest of this. Looks like the Underland Nexus bundle's back. That's Ava and Tar, or Avatar. And she does have a built-in emote that will transform between the two. Swipe left on the phone and turn into this crazy creature nice oh we got the three strikes bundle okay that's got to be new right i mean these two have been in the item shop before but is this a new bundle i just don't remember it ever being combined we got slugger and fastball and their accessories plus the home run glider maybe it has been in the shop before i just don't remember it being a bundle the mech mercs bundle this is rogue gunner rogue navigator the roguish red and the rogue wrecker these are basically restyles of their other skins which were jet black, by the way. Bullseye and Synth Star are back. The Tri-Star pickaxe is back. That's kind of cool, 800. Look at this, one of, if not the best glider in the game. It makes a return, it's reactive. It looks like a red DeLorean. It plays music. What more could you ask for? It looks like a flying DeLorean from Back to the Future 2. Amazing glider. Then we got the Heart Attach. This one just came out not too long ago. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it looks good. I like that. And the core wrap, what's this one? Okay, kind of greenish and white and black. Nice animation. And we got the level up quest pack still here and all the Star Wars stuff still in the shop. It's probably going to be here until the end of the event. Let's see when that is, by the way. Then we've got the icons all still here too. Nothing changed. Looks all the same from a few days ago. And the brand new locker bundle from yesterday is still here. So when do the Star Wars quests end? Three days. You got three days. That's it. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is taper time.